this is Vanessa Joy with Shutter Mag, and we're talking about branding this month. The truth is, branding is one of the hardest things to deal with because as photographers, we we very much base our, our craft on emotion or we fell in love with it because of emotion and we tend to carry that throughout our photography career. Or we're just one of those people that buy a ton of presets or Photoshop actions and simply want to use them all, all the time. Well, here's the thing, that's not good. And especially with today's culture, you have to have something that is consistent. This is something I preach constantly, but please know this is something I also struggle with. And it can be very slight, but it does have an impact. So what I thought I would do for you today is show you an engagement session from I think it's like three years ago, an engagement session from last year, more recently, like six months ago. So I wanna show you the difference between the two of them and, and just play with it a little bit. So let me first show you, this is one from a little bit ago. Now what I used to do was a little bit popular with like three to five years ago is I used to have a very yellowish kind of fade over it. And you can see it in this picture a little bit. And then you can also see it I think the second page just was a good one where you can really see it. So there really aren't any whites up there. See how it's yellow and then here's the white of the actual page. See the difference? All right, so it's not just sun flare. It was the way that I was processing the images as opposed to now, here we've got you know an actual white sky that doesn't have any you know yellow, pea yellow on top of it. Let me show you another one in here that would be a good. These are both Miller's albums, by the way just so you know what you're looking at. Um, I know I have one here, that was good, there we go. I wanna show you one with the white on it because that's where you can really tell, like you can't even tell the difference between the white here and the white there. So this is just one way to tell what my style is and I was always going for a very romantic image, but a few years ago it was a little bit more edited and now I'm just going for something that's a little bit more clean and you know timeless. So that's my goal. And what I need you to do, your job in order to brand yourself, definitely read the article on this month's Shutter Mag, but go through your social media, go through your website and find inconsistencies in your editing. You're probably gonna notice a little bit in your shooting as well, but go through and try to just decide what you want your images to look like and only show those images. And now, from now on, only take images that are con that consistent with what you want and edit them in the same way as well. There's a helicopter flying over me and it's killing the audio right now, wow. But we're just gonna keep going because this is life. Did someone die? Is this a medevac? Right. The whole studio is shaking. Okay. That is so low. <laughs> yeah, we could have hit it with the drone. Anyway, back to branding. Um, so that's what you wanna do, go through and cull. And a lot of us, we tend to cull based on, you know, do we like that photo, our relationship with the subject. But what I want you to do is with the eyes of somebody who's like an art curator, go through and think, if I hung these pictures next to each other in a room, would they match? Or would they look mishmashed? All right, so do that, get your branding back on track. And there are three other tips that are in this month's edition of Shutter Mag that you can check out that will help you as well. This is Vanessa Joy. Go ahead and actually um, follow me on Instagram at Vanessa Joy and you can see how actually I've come along with my branding and tell me if anything looks off, would you? <laughs> Thanks.